So today we're going to start on the cabinets here in the back end. And I think uh, the plan is, is we're just going to make them 12 by 12 cabinets. And we'll have three openings that we can lift, open, and store uh, our things in. So with that, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and cut our uh, sticks. And I think we're going to use an inch and three quarter. And the reason for is when we go to router out our holes for the openings that our router will clear all the way around. So that's a good number and uh, it's easy to remember. So we'll, uh, we'll run some sticks down the side, a couple across the front, make sure everything's secured to the uh, ceiling and the wall and the, uh, the back end. And then we'll uh, go ahead and attach the plywood. So that's the plan. And then the next step is probably do the same thing over top of the kitchenette. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll uh, set up our saw, cut our sticks, and begin fastening those onto our, our walls. So stay tuned. So I went ahead and cut my four sticks. And they're going to go one on the top like this, and then one down here. And then we're going to run our sticks across the front. And then we'll, uh, we'll tie them all together here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue those on. And I'm just going to staple them in, in place for right now. Then we'll come back and we'll attach them with screws to uh, make sure that they draw in and attach to the sides really good. So that's what we're going to do. And I'll give you a shot of that when I get all four pieces up and we're ready to start our sticks across the top. Stay tuned. So what I'm doing is go ahead and install my sticks. This is giving me outline of the box. I went ahead and stapled it just to put it in place. And then I followed up with installing my screws. And uh, I put glue behind it so uh, things don't fall down when I'm going down the road. And uh, I did that to both sides. And then I run a batten across the back. So that is uh, securely fastened to the back of the wall. And uh, I'll also do one across the bottom here. And then I will run two more on the face of it, top and bottom. And then uh, we'll see how I want to separate for the openings. Well, it's coming along, so hang in there. Okay, so here's what I have so far. So we installed the pieces on the side, and that uh, gave us our positioning for the top and bottom rails here. Now I don't have these fastened just yet. So what I'm going to do is I got to cut some cross pieces across here and make sure I fasten them into this and also in the face and top and bottom. And I'm going to secure the top uh, to the ceiling and that way it keeps things from moving this way. And, uh, and then I'll put my sections here where I want my openings to be. And then I'll be able to put the face on and router for the openings. Uh, on the edge here, I'm probably going to keep it away about six inches because I'm going to put a put a shelf across here with a nice little fancy rail going across here. And when I do my uh, wiring, all my wiring will come through the side and go on top of my um, shelf there, so it'll be kind of hidden. All right, so that's what we got so far. So we have a few more pieces of sticks to cut and get into place and then we can do the plywood cool starting to look like a cabinet all right later so here's what i've got done so far we went ahead and put on our top and bottom and i also put a brace behind running the full length that way i have something to fast the front piece on and then i went ahead and put my sticks for my openings so, like I said, I'm going to keep it away from the wall X amount of inches because I want to put a shelf here uh, and that way I'll be able to run all my uh, wires and it'll be hidden and uh, plus it'll give me a couple of, it'll be like a knick-knack shelf, I guess. And then this is the opening. I've got three equal openings for my cabinets and the uh, doors will open up and uh, I think that's going to look pretty good. So, it's coming along. Alright, 
Well, stay tuned. I got a couple more sticks that I want to put in behind here that uh, will brace it because right now it kind of kind of wiggles back and forth. And I could put the, the plywood on the bottom and on the face that would stiffen it up. But I think I'll go ahead and put uh, bracing uh, front and back here uh, just for a peace of mind, I think. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. Awesome. Okay, so what we have is we had our framing in place and everything was glued and screwed. And then I went ahead and cut my plywood and I fastened it on the bottom all the way across. Nice fit. And then I cut a piece for the top, for the face of it. And so I've got the three holes that I need to route out. So my next step is to go ahead and drill some holes to insert my uh, router bit and then I will run the router around those and voila, we will have a cabinet without the doors, of course, but those will come later. All right, so I'll give you a quick shot of that once I get the holes punched out and uh, we'll get ready to clean up. Cool, stay tuned. Well, once again, I've got my holes punched out so I can insert my router bit. And uh, out of all the jobs that I've done on this thing, I think routing is probably probably the messiest. But I tell you what, when you get done cleaning it up, it looks pretty good. And it gives you the nice little round corners that I prefer. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, route these out. make a big mess. It's installed and uh, I don't think it's going anywhere it's pretty sturdy and uh, it looks exactly the way I'd planned it so I'll give you some uh, close-up shots and show you what we did and uh, we'll call it a wrap so thanks for staying with me so we started out by installing the uh, pieces on the side and then on the back top and bottom and then also on the front and once those were installed, I uh, temporarily fastened them down just using some staples and glue and then later came back and uh, added some screws to it. Then uh, once all that was completed, then I went ahead and put my plywood across the bottom and, uh, and then I put the face on and drilled my holes to insert my router bit and then I took a router and routed out the edges. So it gives me that nice clean cut. Um, the, only, the only person's ever going to see this is uh, whoever's in the camper, which happens to be me or whoever buys this thing. So it's not for uh, out in public for show. So it's not by any means any cabinet making uh, technique. So um, we can drop that away. So on the inside, I put a, a rail across the top here so we could uh, fasten the face on. And then behind each one of these, I, uh, I did uh, some pocket holes and uh, fastened the forward pieces on and uh, did the same for four pieces on the ends and then two in the middle. And uh, then I just went all the way through with a couple inch screws, countersunk those about a half inch and then connected the uh, risers here to the board in front. So anyway, that is the back cabinet done, waiting for paint now. So next step 
will be above the kitchenette. Ah, that was good. I like that. Well, well thanks for uh, following along with me. Uh, I hope you watch throughout the whole thing because sometimes, eh, sometimes I give a tip or a trick or something like that. But uh, it, it's easier <laughs> than it looks. And uh, but anyway. I hope uh, for some of you this gives you uh, some incentive to open up the garage door, put the junk aside, and start building something, anything. So uh, my first trailer was a teardrop trailer and uh, I had a lot of fun building that. There's a YouTube video for that. But uh, all you have to do is uh, set your mind to it and uh, put a little time each each day or each week. Uh, I don't get the chance to work on it as much as I like to, but when I do, um, <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. So, uh, get started on something and just do it. Uh, like I said in the past, the only, only thing stopping you is you. So, thanks for watching. Give it a like, a so thumbs up, and uh, if you got any questions, I'll do my best to answer it and uh, keep following along. There's a lot more to come. So we're getting pretty close to uh, adding more paint and uh, before you know it we'll have it out of the garage, put the skin on, throw some windows on it, put the wheels on it and uh, hey, maybe, uh, maybe even camp in it before I throw a for sale sign on it. So thanks for watching.